Hi, welcome to the channel to Irrational. I'm Pranay Sharma and in this video we'll talk about the exam instructions provided by IFOA Institute for the examination April 2023. In this video we'll talk about all the things you should do before and on the day of the examination so that your examination experience is smooth. Let's get started. First and foremost, you should note down this number. This is the emergency contact number. If you have any problem during your examination or afterwards uploading your examination, you should contact this number immediately. This is a UK number. If you live outside United Kingdoms, then you should make sure that your mobile phone has international calling on. And this is the email ID that you would require. So make sure that you have both of these contact numbers handy. These are the other email IDs that IFOA will use to contact you. So make sure that you are getting these particular emails. Two weeks before your examination, you will receive an email from alert at the red online practicals dot org dot uk and it would look something like this here you will get your details to log in or make an account in your exam platform there will be a link set up my account and you will click on it it will take you to a web page of ifoa where you can create your password this is password that you will require you will be required in your examination so please remember it it will send you an SMS on your registered number. So please confirm that number. It should be the same number that you have registered with the IFOA Institute. You will get an SMS. You will enter the code and verify it. You will get a message of activation complete. Now you can log in to the online practical exams.org.uk website to access your exam platform. You should log into that at least one week before your examination and do something called as an equipment check. That is to make sure that your computer is compatible with their exam platform or not. Your ARN number and the password that you have created would be required there. After you log in, it will ask you to do an equipment check. You will have such a red banner that says you must complete the equipment check before attempting to access the exam. Click here now. It will show you all the examination that you have registered with. You will select each one of them and do the equipment check for each one of them. After you select the examination, it will give you some instructions here. You can download and go through them and you will have an equipment check here. After you click on the equipment check, you will find an option to download check and to upload check. First, click this button to check whether you are able to download the paper or not. Then for upload check, first create a word file, name it properly, anything that you want, write a few lines in it so that you can check later on whether the file that has been uploaded is correct or not. Then go to browse, select that file, press OK and then you will find the name of the file here. You can preview, you should always check. When you click on the preview button, it will so show such a preview where you can see what file you have uploaded and what has written in it. After you are done with it, you can click upload check to upload the file. That is equipment check and you can do that equipment check in any number of computers and laptops. It is just to check whether your computer, whether your laptop is compatible with the exam platform and you would not have any problem during the examination for downloading the question paper or uploading your answer sheet. You can log out and then you can access the same thing during your exam day. On the day of the examination, make a folder. I have made this in my desktop where I have kept all the files that I would actually require. My table book, my book, my formula sheet that I have created. Because our examination is open book, we can refer any material that we want. If you are giving CS1 or CS2, the data for your paper B examination 
most likely has already been emailed to you. You will have such R data files. Please keep that handy during the examination. During your examination, if you want to access this data, what you can do is make sure that nothing is in your global environment. Then on this file, right click, open with, and then you will click this R studio. Click yes, and you will see the data already presented to you here. The time of the examination given to you is in UK time. So you should always convert it into your local time to figure out when is your examination. Like 8 a.m. UK time to Indian standard time is 12.30 p.m. You can always Google according to your region. All our paper A examinations have to be submitted using MS Word. So during the examination or actually just before the examination, you can create your file. Do not create the file more than five minutes before the examination. So for that, I'll right click new and I will create a Microsoft Word document. The name of the file should contain your ARN underscore the paper name. So let's say CM1A underscore April 2023. These are the three things that would be important for the name of the file. Do not write any identifying information inside the file. After I have created the file, I like to do a few things. You can change the font and the font size, but I'd like to keep it as it is. They recommend that you should keep the font size as 12. But the first thing we should do is make sure that auto saving is on. So here in file, go to options. In options, you will see a save option here. Click on it and make sure that save auto recovery information every five minutes is available you can set it to be less than five minutes or more than five minutes but if you keep very often what happens is it may affect the performance of your laptop every five minutes it is going to save the word file here in this particular folder you can change it you can click browse and change it but make sure you know where the file has been saved so by any chance, your computer shuts down, your laptop shuts down for any reason and you did not save the file, you will find an auto saved file that is in this folder. Other than that, you should always keep on saving the file as frequently as possible. For the answers, make sure the question numbers and the parts of the question are visible properly. And then let's say I will write my answer here. and. After I have done with my answer, I would start a new question on a new page. So for that, I will go to insert and here I have page break. Okay, I'll click page break and it will start on a new page. I will start a new question on a new page. It is not necessary, but it is just a good habit. Now let's talk about downloading the question paper during the examination. 10 minutes before your examination, you should log in to your online practical exams.org.uk using your ARN and password that you had created. By any chance, if you have forgotten the password, you have a link here to click on forget password. They will send you an email through which you can change the password. Come back here again and put in your ARN password to log in. After you click login, they will send you an SMS code on your registered mobile number. You have to log in with that code to verify your identity. After which you will see such a page where you may most likely not see this message here because we have already done the equipment check. If there is any additional material for your examination, you will find it here like the material for CS1 and CS2 paper B. For the rest, you will access the exam paper here. This button will become blue only when your exam timing starts. When you click on it, you will get a familiar page. Here you can download the paper and when you are done with it, after your examination, you can upload it here itself. Your exam time starts 
at the given time irrespective of whether you were able to download the paper on time or not. So you'll get exactly 3 hours and 20 minutes for paper A and 1 hour and 50 minutes for paper B. After which you will get an additional 30 minutes to upload your paper. As soon as your exam time is up, you should not be writing anything after that. You should save it one last time and close the file. Start uploading it. Each file has information of when it was last saved. See, created as well as when it was last modified. If this last modified is more than one minute from your exam time, then your answer sheet might be disqualified. So please keep an alarm. Make sure that you are not going over the given time. To upload the examination, you are back here and the same procedure that we used during the equipment check can be used here. Click browse, select the file, click open and after that you will file, see the file name here. Click preview to make sure that the file has been correctly uploaded and then only click upload here. Immediately, you will get a message of success like here, thank you for uploading your submission and after maybe half an hour or so, you will get an email that your exam has been accepted. Now, IFOA has also laid down some rules if there is some emergency situation. So here they have said if you have fire alarms and other distracting events, that means if there was no fire but some scheduled fire alarms. So in that case, you are responsible for checking the building where you are sitting your examination to ensure there is no scheduled fire alarms or other planned events that may affect your exam sitting. In a fire alarm, if a fire alarm is scheduled to take place during your examination and you are unable to relocate to another building, you can apply for mitigating circumstances. You will be required to explain how this affected your performance and you will be required to provide evidence as set out in the IFOA mitigating circumstances policy. So this is not exactly a fire situation but sometimes some buildings have fire alarm drills pre-planned. They are talking about that. So your safety is our priority. If fire alarm occurs during your examination, you should leave the building if required. While evacuated from the building, you must not communicate with anyone about your exam. Once you return to your exam, you must complete the paper to the best of your ability. We cannot add additional time. You can apply for mitigating circumstances please refer to the policy on the website. You have to keep track of why and how it affected your examination. So you need some screenshot, you need some written consent from building manager that says certain fire alarm event happened. Now if there is an IFOA platform issue, so if our system fails during your examination, we will do our best to immediately put alternative arrangements in place if this pro proves impossible, our only remaining option will be to cancel that exam. In the unlikely event that we must cancel the exam, we will contact you directly to advise you of the next steps. So this is very unlikely, but if exam is cancelled, if there is any problems, they would contact you directly. Then this is the most likely problems that you might face, that is internet issues or electricity issues. So if you have system issues during your examination, you must continue to complete your exam to the best of your ability. System issues could relate to internet connectivity or electricity failing. If you experience system issues, you must keep a log of the issues and the times when you have been affected. So click pictures of the problem and the time when that happened. You will need to take the screenshot as the evidence for errors or issues which have occurred if you want the issues to be considered under our mitigating circumstances policy. If you have 
issues during upload again click pictures make sure that you submit that with the as an evidence with the email so if you experience issues uploading your exam documents during the 30 minute upload period you must call on this number that's the same number that we have talked about at the beginning before you attempt to send your examination script we cannot accept any answer script sent by email or other method unless we have given pre-authorization over the phone so they will give you some pre-authorization some code that you have to submit with your answer sheet so we will give you guidance and further instruction during the call if during the call we grant you authorization you will then be allowed to email in your answer script quoting a unique code we cannot accept any answer scripts which are emailed to us unless we have given you authorization and you put your unique code in your email we cannot mark any emailed examination script that we have not authorized you must keep a log of the issues and the time you have been affected you will also need to take screenshot as evidence so screenshot or click pictures and submit that with the email all of these issues are very rare but you should be prepared for any circumstances any problems you may face during your examination if you are referring to the book or any material you should write the reference otherwise it should be deemed as plagiarism to know what constructs as plagiarism and how to avoid it i have already made a video i will link it in the description best of luck for your examination and i will see you in the next video